So after a bit of a hiatus over the past few weeks, I finally managed to bring out today the US edition of what in England is called uh, Violencia, A New History of Spain, and in the US is called Why Spain Matters, um, the, the story of the land that shaped the Western world. It's been a bit of an adventure trying to get this book out, um, but I've just hit the publish button and it's going to be out there in a matter of minutes, hours. I think there's a slight uh, delay, but it's not quite as straightforward as that. But it will be available in the US. Why Spain Matters, the story of the land that shaped the Western world. So it's been, as I say, been quite an adventure getting this done. I had the idea to, to do the US edition back in January. This has all been part of a process of going independent, which has been fantastic and a really, really good thing to do, actually. Um, having been in mainstream publishing for 20 years, um, and that model really has broken down. And so this is all part of me breaking out and doing things on my own. And it's very rewarding, but there's a steep learning curve. And actually what I've found, perhaps one of the most interesting observations over this past sort of uh, six, seven, eight, nine months, nine months, I think it is, since I sort of took this decision, um, one of the most interesting observations is that you realise quite how institutionalised you become by being in mainstream publishing. Um, as I was there for 20 years and it's as though it's, it's a bit like doing, it's a bit like doing a prison sentence. Um, you expect you, you have certain structures about how things are done and um, when they can be done. And I think it's a bit like you, you, you feel it, it takes you a while to break out of that. You make the decision to leave, which is what I did, and I and I broke out of my cell and got got past the dogs and the guards and through the prison, you know, across the prison walls and what have you, and I'm free. But it takes quite a while to work out that there are all kinds of things that you can do now and that no one's telling you what to do and when you can do it or what you can't do. So, you know, you can publish more than one book a year. You can publish as many books a year as you can produce and write. Um, they don't all have to be 90,000 words long. They can be 10,000 words long or 20,000 words long or 200,000 words long. That's all your decision. And also, this is what it took me a long time to realise, um, there are certain books where I still have the US rights to. And that's it took me six months to come to that uh, realisation. But I did, and um, I finally, it's taken me a few months, it's been a bit of a long, longer than I thought, but I finally, as I say, pressed the print, publish, the publish button um, on the US edition of Violencia, which is called Why Spain Matters, the story of the world, the story of the land that shaped the Western world. I'll get that, <laughs> I'll get that, that tripping off my tongue slightly better um, eventually. But uh, do look out for it if you're in the US and you want to pick up uh, the book. Maybe you haven't been able to read it. There's a Kindle. You can now, you'll be able to buy it now um, on the Kindle store, something that you wasn't available uh, before. You weren't able to buy a Violencia on the Kindle store. Anyway, um, I say very interesting process and there should be more books coming out in the US soon. Now that I've broken the back of this and I've realised what needs to be done and found out ways of doing it uh, more simply, I think, and uh, more quickly, then so yeah, so there'll be new editions coming out in the US soon. So do look out for them. Thanks very much.